and welcome back. My name's Andrew Keeping and I've had so many requests on my YouTube channel to do another video using this, the Godan Multiac Concert Grand Guitar and demonstrating some of the software and plugins that I use in my studio, my door of choice, which is Cubase Pro 10. And in here, some of the best plugins that I use for writing my music for soundtracks, TV adverts, what have you. Um, and it's always a pleasure for me, so come and join me. Let's have a look, see what we've got to say. Right, just so that we're clear of what's happening here, this is a MIDI guitar, and that means that it sends a digital signal through this 13 pin DIN cable into the back of my GR55, Boss GR55. And this is a synthesizer, but we're not using the effects on here today. What we're doing, we're using the MIDI out. It can only use one of these pieces of kit or the Axiom synthesizers because it uses the 13 DIN cable that comes from the guitar into the back of here, that transfers the signal into a, a MIDI out signal that I can then transfer into my audio interface. What I do there, I go into, I'm using an RME Fireface 802, and I go into the MIDI in on that device, and then straight into my digital audio workstation. So, that being said, that clears up the technical side of it. I shall have a video on this actually showing you exactly how I use that. And I will also be doing a video to demonstrate the different sounds that the synthesizer, the GR55, can use with this guitar. Now, I'm now in to Cubase. I've got my headphones on, we're ready to go. And as you can see on the left-hand side, the first choice is Spitfire, which is one of my favorite companies at the moment. Spitfire Audio, they do basically some of the best sampled sounds. They work through their studios, Air Studios, and they work with some of the best artists and the most contemporary artists. Here I'm using the Olafur Arnold's Chamber Evolutions, but we also have their classic series of Albion a brilliant one that I use quite a lot down here. You can see the orchestral swarm and that was used on Blue Planet. But in addition to that, they work with some of the other great cinematic soundscape writers of all time with Hans Zimmer I have a great series with him. So here's a lovely series. And again, just using my guitar, don't get me wrong, you can use the keyboards. Keyboards are great. I'm more comfortable with a guitar because actually I was trained as a classical guitarist to, at the Royal Academy of Music and spent my life performing as a concert guitarist. So when I'm creating music, I find myself more creative as my keyboard skills aren't nearly as good as my guitar skills. So that's my reason. Totally agree, all of this can be done on a keyboard, and if you're a good keyboard player, you might find it actually easier to do that. But I just wanna demo the MIDI guitar here. Here we go, let's try something. Two pieces of software I use probably more than anything else when I'm writing music for soundtracks, for um, atmospheric works, or anything that I've been asked to use, a cello or a violin or a string part. One of my favorite solo stringed instruments is this Bohemian cello. Now this is a very, very clever piece of kit. I've also put videos up demonstrating the Bohemian series and um, please go and have a look at those if you want more detail. But in the meantime, this is the sort of sound that this brings. <laughs>
this is a really p clever piece of software actually because what they do in the Bohemian series and you understand why it's called Bohemian it just in the sound and the style that is created but in this one what they do it's a virtual performer and it anticipates the articulations that if you were using it on a keyboard, a lot of software you adjust for staccatos, for half bows. And here in the top left hand corner here, you will notice that it actually anticipates and has a very clever brain behind it that gives you the most authentic sound because both my hands are being used up while playing the guitar. Right, so this is a very interesting piece of software. It's called the British Drama Toolkit by the same company I mentioned earlier, Spitfire Audio. Now this was created in collaboration with composer Samuel Sim, who is well known for his sort of emotionally potent sound uh, for drama pieces, British particularly as, it, as the title suggests. And if I... If I... You can hear the different instruments at different parts and it allows you to just improvise around a score and be able to create a soundscape immediately and that's what I really like about this so let's give it a shot let's see what we can come up with This is um, the Tech Breath Controller. Now I use that in sync with the SWAM engines. They've worked together in creating this amazing tool because one of the problems as a guitarist, you don't have the mod wheel that you have on the keyboard to be able to adapt um, certain velocities or certain effects that you might program your MIDI channels through to it. So. I can do that with this breath controller. For example, if I put the breath controller in my mouth and I bite on it, I can create and um, direct a MIDI channel or an effect to the bite, to the tilt of the head, to the rock forward and backwards. And as I breathe, that helps the velocity of the flute. So in this case, I've got an alto flute and it will allow me to do this. So here we've got another example of Swam's engine. And on this one, we've got the sound of the soprano saxophone. Again, I'm using the BBC tech controller, the breath controller. And let's see what we get here. Well, that's all for today. Anyhow, I just thought I'd give you a little bit of a glimpse of some of the favorite ones that I'm using at the moment. Um, if you'd like to see more, please come and let me know. I'll be delighted to show you some others. And until then, I'll see you next time.